All the sissies miss. Folks that they can go through life not knowing God. Ain't no way you can make it through life to whenever your time is up without having the grace of God. Ain't no way that's possible. Everybody is going to need grace, mercy, one time or another. And people living their lives all happy, all go lucky. You know what I mean? Like, God don't exist because their lives is turning out good so far. But they forget who put breath in their body every morning. Who wakes them up? Who, who gives you a, the ability to move your limbs in the morning? You know what I'm saying? Like, people are not thinking. They better wake up. Life is too short. And you will be humbled. Every time you try to do something without God and he's trying to get your attention and you keep trying to do it, he going to keep on. Things ain't going to go right for you. You're going to keep on going over the same cycle over and over and over until God break that cycle. By you letting God in to redirect your life on the righteous path, change your life, and <clears throat> keep you away from the, the traps of the enemy. See, God keeps those people they don't want you to make it in life. People that are already written you off saying you weren't going to be nothing. God likes to shut people's mouth. Especially when you're serving him. They can't tell God what you're not going to be and what you can't do. They are not the one that can judge that and, and, and decide that for your life. When you're serving God, they have no decisions over your life. Not even the doctors. Every decision that is made, God has something to do with the decision. The devil blesses people, yes. Every gift God gave us was gifts we supposed to use for his will, for his benefit, for the good. But folks use their talents and they start using it for the enemy. Cursing, vulgar language, sexual contents. God didn't bless nobody to do, use their gifts to do disrespectful things in the world, sin, to use their gifts to build the devil's kingdom up and not his when he's the creator. Everybody was born with a gift. Them gifts didn't just come by themselves. They was born. God knew who to give gifts. He gave everybody a gift and everybody was supposed to, which we were misled and we couldn't help that, that we was thinking that going to church and just say we loving God was just being a Christian. You know what I mean? But we, when we got out of church, it didn't matter. You know what I'm saying? What we did that wasn't right they should have told us the truth that this walk wasn't easy that you gotta follow the rules the commandments that you can't defile your temple that you gotta try to come away from things of the world they didn't explain that in Sunday school or nothing like that the preacher barely explained stuff like that we had to find out the hard way because we kept repeating, repeating, repeating the same cycles. Wondering why we always going through the same thing over and over when some of us are good, are really honestly good people. When we got messed up with people that we didn't know that was in our lives that was deceiving us all along because we didn't have that that we didn't have a spirit of discernment. We didn't have the Holy Spirit guiding us. God never left us or forsake us, but we weren't filled with the Holy Ghost. Not while we living in sin. The, the Holy Spirit can't dwell in your temple when you having sex, drinking, smoking, cussing, doing all kind of things that God call a sin. The Holy Spirit can't stay in here and work on your mind, your body, your heart, your soul when you're doing things of the devil. You know what I'm saying? We had to get to know God for yourself. When you get baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost, you got to get to know him yourself. You got to feed your soul. It said a man can't live by bread alone. You got to read that word. Praise him. Spend time with him. That feeds your spirit, man. And the Holy Spirit is what 
gives you knowledge and wisdom or to know don't go down that street because it might be an accident happening and tell you to go that way instead of that way. Or don't take that job because you having a a feeling in you that don't feel right to shoot you. You undecisive. So that mean don't do it. If you're not 100% on your decisions, then don't do it. That's, a, that's, that's, that's your spirit nudging you. Don't do it. It's the wrong thing to do. Folks think they can go forever. You know what I mean? Not falling into the devil's traps. When I alone, y'all falling into the devil's traps. Because you living for him and not God. And all sin is going to do is lead you to death. Who going to save you if you don't believe in God? If you're not spending time with God, if you don't believe that he even exists, who going to stop you from dying? Who going to stop you from falling in that ditch that's dug for you and covered and that you didn't know nothing about because somebody in your family or somebody around you close or a friend already dug that ditch with one of your enemies and they expect you to fall in it? God can stop anything from happening. But some of the things happen because of our consequences. Some things ain't the devil. Some things is just a test. Like he took Job through a test. But Job stood to text the time and he never, he never forsaken the Lord. He never went against God. He never said he would denounce the Lord. He hung on in there through all his suffering, his pain and losing his children, everything he owned. He never once denounced God wasn't God. That his son didn't die on the cross for our sins. He never once. And I know sometimes that we think that God is unfair because we go through things that hurt us. We go through things that's real challenging that we never never went through before. But each time we go through some, he bring us out. Each level, different devils. You got to carry that cross like he carried that cross for all of our sins. Like he overcame death and sin. He brought us back with a price. We belong to him. It's your choice if you want to stay with the devil or you want to go where it's, where it's peace, happiness, joy. It might not be sunny every day, but with his hands on your life, you know that the devil cannot take you out of God's hands, out of his son's hands and out of his hands. And he said, touch not my anointed. If you're doing his will and he chose you because he had mercy on you, he extended his hand and you took it. Because you was tired. And it's time to make a change. It's time for some love, some happiness. Even if you don't get it from the people you love, your family, your husband, your whoever you with. God going to send some people with the love of Christ that's going to love you exactly how you love him. You know what I mean? They're gonna Y'all going to love each other because you're loving through Christ. You're loving because y'all are connected in that way with the Holy Spirit. The same spirit. Sometimes. Family choose. To let you go. Because you choose something different in life. Because you finally want to change. You know what I mean? What's wrong with your change? Well, all of a sudden when you change and start living for God. Everybody want to get ghosts. No, nobody want to call you no more. But when you were sinning. Boy it was conversations every day. When they can hear how much you were failing. Or hearing you crying or how much you going through. That should show you right there. They only liked you when they can hear your misery. Because it made them feel big. It made them feel strong. It made them feel like they were better than you. When they got stuff, they just probably they just didn't open their mouth like you did. They didn't trust you enough. But they got things they went through that they'll never tell you. But the truth is uh study seeping out on things that they went through that they didn't know, they don't think that you knew. When you knew, you just kept your mouth shut. Because if they wanted you to know, they would have told you. But some kind of way, you heard it through the grapevine. The ones they thought they told didn't tell their business, did. You feel me? But you know your hands are clean. But yet they tell all your business, every Tom, Bob, and Harry. And you heard about it, but you never once confronted them. Because you know what? It ain't even worth it. Because we don't fight our battles. The Lord gets vengeance. As long as you keep your quietness, your distance, and you keep living for God, doing what you're supposed to do for him, staying on that path, he going to take care of it eventually. Not that we praying that they get what's coming to them, but we all got to get what's coming to us. You, you, you reaping an evil seed, 
you gonna get your you gonna get your harvest back because that's what you put out there. So if you wanted that to happen to somebody else, it's gonna happen to you. And then you're making it happen to your children and their children. You cursing your own children. You're not caring about nobody because you're selfish and you're worried about destroying somebody. You're not worried about other people's lives that you're destroying in the, in the process of your anger and your selfishness, which don't nobody care because deep down, that person ain't the one to judge. That person can't point a finger. God didn't tell them to babysit your life and spread your business. God didn't tell no muttering spirits or gang stalkers to come around you and bother you. He said, touch not my anointed. They think it's all fun and games right now. Cheerio. Have fun. Because your day is coming. Believe that. Your day is coming. You going to reap what you sow. You think it's funny to ruin somebody's life, to spread words about them, and they ain't did nothing to you? You going to pay. It ain't no, I'm going to be nice and not tell the truth. You're going to pay for everything you've done. God is going, God is going, they're going to get what they reap. They're going to reap it, believe that. Harvest is coming. Ain't no hide behind doors. No money can't stop what God going to do. None of that. You can't hide because he see everything good and the bad. He know what you did. You can't lie and say you didn't do it. You might not ever tell that person, forgive me, I'm sorry, or ever admit what you did but God knows so you ain't got to admit it to us because you're going to go down that's all I know and I pray that you find salvation but when you're messing with God's children you messing with him when you curse us you curse yourself it's just the fact that folks think they don't need God y'all keep on thinking y'all don't need God keep on thinking it he the one woke you up maybe one day he won't give you breath to breathe since you think the devil gonna save you, maybe he'll just take his hands up off your life. Maybe he'll just turn a turn his face, tell him to turn a deaf ear. That's something you don't want him to do. Get to where he not hearing your prayer. You so wicked. Remember, the wicked gonna be cut off. The wicked is heading for death. We tell y'all many a times. We pray for y'all to have salvation and walk away from your wicked ways. But y'all choose to keep doing, playing voodoo hoodoo. Getting a whole country to come together to try to bring somebody down because you ain't powerful enough. And then you still can't bring them down. That show you right there. You ain't powerful. It's greater than he that's in them than the power you trying to use to try to bring them down. You might as well take several seats. You can't do what God don't want you to do. The devil going to have y'all running y'all self in the ground. You're going to end up next to him. In a pit, because he's going down and he's just trying to take y'all with him. He ain't y'all mouse in hell. He gonna burn just like you is. But you'd rather follow him when he can't judge you in heaven or hell. Y'all better wake up. And if you care enough about your kids, you'll change your life. And stop ruining theirs by you doing what you're doing. Because you're cursing your generations to come. And I'm just here to say, y'all can't live without God's grace and mercy. Keep thinking you're big and bad. You're going to find out the hard way. If I was you, all I have to say is, all you have to do is let the Lord in your life. Believe that Jesus is Lord, and he died upon the cross for our sins, and he's the son of God. And get baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost. He know you're going to fall. He know you ain't perfect, but he's going to keep getting you up. He's not going to let you go down in the fall and not pick you back up. He know that we make mistakes. We're not perfect. But as long as you're trying and he know your heart, he going to make sure you finish and you get the victory in front of your enemies. I just had to say, I am thank God for him having mercy on me and giving me a chance to straighten my life up, forgiving me for all the things I've done and let me start off new and fresh. I'm glad that he woke me up again this morning and I'm glad no matter what I'm going through that I still can function I still can find my peace and I still can do his will so spread the word and let them know God is able to do anything be of and beyond we can't even fathom the things that God can do
because he's not like us. And when he bless you, he bless you big. And he's not done with you yet. He'll show you little blessings at first to see if you appreciate. And then when you level up and get closer and closer to his heart, he's going to make sure you're blessed in your spiritual, your wisdom, your knowledge, and things that you desire. He's going to bless you in many of things, not just money. But you got to do your part. And you got to stay on that road of righteousness and you got to stay faithful. And no matter how you fall, forgive yourself because he's going to forgive you. As long as you really honestly mean it from the heart, he going to make sure you keep going. So y'all stay blessed now. This is Sister's Mess. I just wanted to do a video because I felt that way sitting in the car. About to get out and walk on these crutches. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still making it work. <clears throat> and I still got a leg to drive with. And even if the other one is bothering me, I'm still not going to stop. I don't know how to stop. There's too much God in me. Y'all have a blessed night, you hear? Be blessed.